thoughts and opinions expressed are those of the sponsor and don't necessarily reflect those of the station or iHeartMedia. Hi, it's Leah here to tell you about Dr. Anthony Pinozo. He's a pain specialist located in Southern Palm Beach County. So if you are somebody that you know is suffering in pain, Dr. Pinozo is the one you guys need to call and make that call today because living in pain is no way to go through life. Dr. Pinozo has been in practice now for more than 49 years. He's treated more than 73,000 patients for pain. He's an expert when it comes to diagnosing the pain and he has had huge turnarounds. In fact, people with living with scoliosis, he has had nearly a 100% turnaround. Lumbar pain as well. If you've got lower back pain, if you're suffering with migraines or flat feet pain, maybe pain in your elbows, your neck, your shoulders, Dr. Pinozo can help you. And the greatest thing is he can help you without drugs, without surgery, and without having to go through weeks and months of rehabilitation. Give him a call today, set up an appointment. It's 561-381-5800. Tune into his show Sundays, 11 to noon. And now, here's this week's edition of the Dr. Pinozo Sports and Medicine Hour. Good morning, Hello. everybody. It's great to be sitting in the seat of unpower. Or you're back. I am. I didn't even know I was back. I didn't know that. <laughs> now, you got to admit one thing. I look better than Manx. I mean, I got, I, I'm younger. I feel good. You look great, Doc. I'm you're telling you. You're younger than Manx. Yeah, no, I think Manx is older than me. Hey, Manx, how you doing, buddy? I know you're listening to the show. If I make a mistake, just write it down and send it to me. Okay, so, Doc, oh, hold it, everybody. I, I just realized something. I'm sitting here with a star, a reality star. <laughs> if, anyone, if anyone has you verse, uh, you could you could catch Dr. Pinozo every, Tuesday, every Wednesday and Friday from 6 to 6.30, on Channel 19, whether you're living in Key West, whether you're living in Jupiter, whether you're living... Wait, wait, if you want to get it on your computer... Yeah, tell them how to get it, Doc. W-E-Y-W-19.com. Yep. You put that in, you get the whole program. Yeah, you can watch it as uh, as it's coming on at the same time. You can uh, get it back, and it's also that, on Facebook. I mean, it's everywhere. And we're getting some great results. A lot of people are saying, wow, I listen to your show, and now I see you. Uh, yeah, people ought to really watch that. That is the true thing. There is no time lapse on what no. you see. There's no time lapse. Uh, it, it's right there for you, uh, patient by patient. There, you don't wait a week or nothing. No. It's right there. Two minutes after the treatment, you see it. I think what makes and, the show... And there's a lot of questions. Yeah, we're going to talk about that. Somebody wants to know if I'm. Uh, we use actors. We do not. These are the if real... If you've watched the a show and you think those are actors, <laughs> then there's something wrong with you. I can tell you that. No, what makes the show different than a lot of reality... You know, I, I watch a lot of reality shows during the day, you know, when my wife, so my wife's got a problem. But it's, everything is so scripted. I found out, Freddie, this is something, you know, as a producer, you like... You know the show Botch, and now they have Botched on the Road? Yes. They've got 110 people on their staff that take out the bits and pieces and and do all this stuff to, uh, to make it look like a real show. Yeah. We don't do that. No. Nope. We don't even come close. What you see, folks, is what you get. And I think the beauty of what we're talking about every single day, uh, Sunday, what makes it so nice is now people can actually see how he gets rid of migraines. Well, I think you guys are missing the biggest way to watch Dr. Pinoza. Go ahead. You go to Pinoza.tv and in there... You have the 19, the channel 19 feed, which is Atlantic Broadband 5. Wow. AT&T U-verse 19 is on his website. Wow. So when he's on Wednesday and Friday, 6 to 6.30, you click on that little box and you can see him. You can see him uh, Manhattan Cable, which are 1, 2, 3, 4 <laughs> networks. You can see that when it's on. And you can see Boston, Comcast, RCN when that's on. So all you got to do is go to Pinozo. TV, you can see everything and everywhere. Wow, you, you know what's you know what's good about co coming here on Sunday? Freddie's tells me what he's been doing. <laughs> I thought we told you that. Huh? We didn't tell you that? No, you didn't tell me That's that. That's why you should go to your iHeart, uh, Apple um, download uh, media and download uh -huh. Pinozo.tv's app. It's oh, free. I got that. I got that. I have the app. And you can see all yeah. of his shows. In fact, I show him one day. You can see your podcast. You can see your book. Everything's there. So, folks, I'm telling you right now, tell them how to get there again, Freddie. So, uh, you could go to Dr. Pinozo's app. If you have his app, or you could go to uh, Pinozo.tv. You could actually see real people getting yep. really That's right. good yeah. service, which These is amazing real today. Getting good service, real service. All, really all the shows that Dr. Pinozo does around the country are actually on his uh, 
app or his website, Penozo.tv. And you can see it. You can see it um, live when it goes on. Um, they played you three times this week because, believe it or not, AT&T had a blackout. <laughs> yes, they did. So they had to put it on Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. And then this week you have a reality show 7 and 8 coming. Yeah. And Thursday. Well, the, uh, I hope people watch it. Uh, one thing, it's very in, it's, uh, uh, informational. So that you look at that and you say, well, I've been being treated for a whole year and they don't get this kind of result. So oh, that should so. teach you something. Sure. So you want to you want to get people to treat you uh, to get something close to what you're seeing. That's the real thing there. Well, the beauty of it is people here, people have listened to the show, Doc, for about uh, almost three years. And now they can actually see what for themselves. Which but not is... only that, but uh, during the, the show, it's only half hour. But I explained to you what we're doing at mm -hmm. the time. So you understand it, and um, and that you don't get usually uh, anywhere. So uh, that that's it's all for you. I mean, I have to go out of my way to make this uh, program. Yeah, you for do. You. It takes a lot but of time and a lot of practice. Got to take advantage of it. Well, now that we know, we know. I just want to ask you a question. When you become rich and famous, <laughs> are you going to remember Freddie and I? I'm remembering you right now. Oh. Every 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 month. <laughs> I'm a tall guy. He's a short guy. We're the two boys from Brooklyn. <laughs> okay, so let's, uh, I was watching something that really fascinated me and, I, and and totally blew my mind. I'm watching that guy Weatherly, whatever his name was, and they're doing this whole thing. It was a half, it was a half hour show on emu oil. Emu oil. Yeah, you rub oh, it yeah, on yeah, yeah, for yeah. pain, yeah. and. They kept on saying, this will relieve pain. Well, Doc, isn't two aspirins going to do the same thing and you don't have yes. to rub anything on your body? Yes, there, uh, there is no way that anything you could put on the skin is right. going to help you because uh, it can't get to where the problem actually is. And I've mentioned it many times, and you need a diagnosis. And it's not in the skin. I mean, uh, what's that other one from South America they... Australian uh, Australian gold. <laughs> Do you know what that emo oil smells like? Yeah. Like dead camel. It's disgusting. It smells like wet leather. It's horrible. So if you want to walk around smelling like, like <coughs> wet leather, you know what, you, you put a, a very interesting point up, Freddie, and, and so did you, Doc, that people don't understand that relieve and cure are two different things. So if someone can walk into your office. I think you pointed that out many times. Uh, but I, but we have yeah. listeners. Every, we got listeners no, coming I'm, every day. It's not a criticism. No, but what I'm trying to say is that you actually get. Rid, I mean, I have spoken to the people that I brought in that haven't had a migraine since they saw them, yeah, and that we, was eight nine months ago. Yeah, we've got a hundred percent cure rate for migraine. Yeah, and uh, vertigo, which is vertigo. oh, and the ringing in the ear, and ringing in the ear. Sorry. <clears throat> You better be, uh, I don't want you taking your vacation unless you're healthy. I, I always get sick when I'm going on vacation. Me too. I don't know what it is. It takes three or four days to recover from that. Then I, <laughs> I hate to fly, I mean, but I told my this, wife. It's a terrible body I have. It's just horrible. Well, I'll tell you I'll tell you the same thing I tell everybody else. You and I both have, we're, we're like very expensive sinks, you and I. <laughs> the outside is beautiful. The inside is all rusted. <laughs> I mean, our pipes are really bad. Yeah. Here's Freddie. Look at this guy. Doesn't have, doesn't have a pain in his body. I'm on the new Frey Centauri diet, by the way. Cheeseburgers, hamburgers, sodas, and ice cream. <laughs> I've never felt this good yet. You on the same diet? No, but uh, Freddie does have a pain. It's in the neck, and it's you. Oh, well, we know that. <laughs> how do you think we get along so well? How like about, how about giving the call letters? Uh, 800 number? What, what is The number, number here, if you want to call up Dr. Bonneau, is 800. Yeah. 889-0267. I mean, if you got any kind of pain, you want to talk to the doc. Uh, also, doc, hey, you can complain too. You can. Hey, if do, anyone has a complaint, do whatever we're going to take it. We have no producer. <laughs> what is he? Plays with buttons all day, uh, and we take every call. We so do. we got the call letters for the computer. We got uh -huh. the 800 number, and then the office number 561-381-5800. 5800. But don't call right now. Please don't call now. No, but you can call, call the 800 number if you want yeah. to call in. So now, here's something about you, you and I have talked about, and Freddie, we've talked about workman's compensation. Yeah. And I didn't know that was like 15 different divisions of workman's compensa compensation. Sure. But the most pain problems are back, knees, shoulders. And believe it or not, I never knew migraine was, was going to keep someone out of work, but I guess if it's that bad. So wouldn't it behoove employees of 
50 or more people to call you to get rid of that pain so they have an active worker on the staff working? Even one employee, it doesn't yeah. matter yeah. how many. So you're paying for it. If you're paying for the insurance coverage to yeah. anybody, it would be smart for you to send them to Dr. Pinoza beforehand. Here's the thing. You have to be in the loop. Yeah. Yeah. And it's like that a lot. If you're not in the loop, uh, you don't get those referrals. I mean, I've had people come in my office and tell me they want they had uh, workman's comp injury. They want me to take care of them. And I said, well, you got to get approval from whoever's going to pay the bill. Right. <clears throat> That's the last you see of them. Well, no, those people that they're came going, in. Oh, go, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to interrupt. They're going to orthopedic surgeons who then use PTs. That's how you lose money because this guy is going to be off work uh, when you go to those people. And you're, you, on $800 a month, you can't, you can't exist. Or well, is it a week? It's no, a it's a month. It's a month. Well, and, for eight hundred uh, for eight hundred dollars a week, people would really go. The best thing to do uh, if, uh, for the the uh, people in between, you got to know who, who you're referring to, who you're paying, what are you paying for. Mm -hmm. If you're going to pay for a PT, you better quit it because they don't have a clue. They don't diagnose, and they have to be used to just. Judiciously. <laughs> Judicially. That too. <laughs> Judicially. They have to be used in the right way. <laughs> Some man that graduated Ohio State who's doing very well right now in, the, in college football. Yeah, so uh, and we can't get those referrals. Well, do you remember the, the person? It, it's, a, it's a terrible thing. I'm qualified, absolutely qualified, and there's somebody out there who says, and it's usually a woman, who says, no, you can't go to Pinoza, you got to go to so-and-so, my friend, the orthopedic surgeon. Well, I'm I mean, that's nuts. Said. Orthopedic surgeons should be used for surgery, not for treatment. I will tell you what happened. This is very funny. Uh, my friends came over for uh, dinner to visit us, and she was telling me she had an accident where she just hit a car of an old guy. She got a she got a bill of ten thousand. I'm sorry, eight hundred no eight thousand dollars from a lawyer, and four thousand dollars for physical therapy. Got the lawyer, and he said you have to go for physical therapy. They happens the every time you... They got the bill before they went? As soon as they went... It happens every accident. Got a bill for $8,000 from you, the yeah, attorney. Yeah, well, uh, somebody was in the office the other day and explained how that works. The PIP. The, P, yeah, the PIP. PIP, right. They, 10, he explained how that works. And um, I, I don't know. Uh, you know, they generating $10,000 worth of bills yes and, right off the bat and they have to be paid because that's the law right that leaves the patient high and dry that's right and if and who gets the money both of them that's oh yeah the, and if uh, you if you're the injured party if you get injured in a car accident yeah. you get the pip which does absolutely nothing. nothing and then you're left with these medical bills which are amount to tremendous well, no, the, amounts the pip does something it's a ten thousand Right. Chiropractor. But they're not getting results for the $10,000. Oh, no, no, that's what I'm saying. Nothing happened. I mean, we get results for 1000 Yes. And I mean, a cure. And they're, they're charging the $10,000. And I knew when that law passed, I said, there's lawyers involved with this. I mean, that's this is a hidden way to make money. I mean, it's the just, system a, is just rigged. a terrible thing. Yeah. And the attorneys won't take the deal if the person who hit you has a very small amount of insurance exactly or no coverage. Right. Because they told Linda, I'm sorry, we can't take the case. Then you have to find the money to pay the doctor bills to get you back to work. Yeah, after the PIP. Because after then the PIP. they're throwing you out. Yes, and, and everybody uh, so, walks away. Yeah, they're coming in my office. I, I have personal experience with this. They come in my office and, and uh, say, well... Uh, do you have anything left on your PIP? No. Right, that's what they say. Do you have any PIP left? I said, well, where's your insurance then? I mean, you're... You're, you're done. No, no. no. Actually, your uh, your insurance company is not going to pay that bill. That's correct. Because now, they will say it's an auto accident, therefore it goes to the auto accident insurance company, exactly, not them. Exactly not right. Not your so health you, insurance. You have to sue your own insurance company for non-insured motorists. Correct. Or yes. have an umbrella policy. Yeah. That's and true. then you have to pick on yourself and your own carrier to pay your medical bills. But a lot of times you won't have that. And, uh, the, That's right. The lawyer's not going to tell you that nope. because uh, they already got their, their fee out of that. And uh, it, it's a terrible thing. And I hope I'm embarrassing them. That's my intent. Well, you should embarrass them because <laughs> the system is really terrible. Well, well, you had. I mean, I do it the ethical way. We treat yeah. it quick 
efficiently and out of there. And I don't care what it costs. I mean, it's low, low, low fee and uh, it gets covered. But there's uh, groups out there who make sure that $10,000 is being paid out mm-hmm. and you get nothing for it. Yeah, you, you have gotta to be pay careful. Them. Chiropractors are, are involved. That commercial that's 1 800 Pain, uh-huh. I know what they spent just in South Florida for advertising. So they've got to be making money. Uh, I said it. I said it away. Where we can't, they, I, I said they must be making money. I try to do this the right well, way. Well, somebody's making money. Yeah. Well, I mean, well, if we're, you're we're, spending we're, almost a million dollars a we're quarter. St- what we're trying to get across is expertise on musculoskeletal pain. Knowledge. We know how to do it, and we do it inexpensively. And I'm not getting the credit for it. You know why? I don't charge enough. You don't. I keep. T- well, Doc, do you remember <laughs> a, a couple I mean, Tuesdays? Can you believe this stuff? A couple Tuesdays ago, that Spanish guy came in. Uh, and, and, with pain, he fell off the ladder, and the lady sends all her patients to you because of the workman's comp. She doesn't, they don't want to pay the work. That guy was up and out in, I'd say, 35 minutes. He had such pain in his back, his buddy had to bring him in, not only to translate, to explain what was wrong. Yeah. He, was, he was walking, and guess what? He goes to work the next day. Yes, they asked me if he had time off. I said no. He went to work the next day. I mean, now, that's he amazing. Did come in one more time because he had two injuries. He had one. The ad- second one uh, developed, and then we took care yeah, of that. He hasn't been back since. No. Now that the uh, person, who, uh, lady who owns that company, is very smart. Yes, yeah, she is. She says, "Let's get him treated quickly and back to work. That saves everybody, in, 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 including the patient. Yeah, the guy who was hurt. You're going to save his life." By getting him treated quickly and out of there so that he's back to work and can take care of his family. Don't forget, there are people around him that uh, need need care. And you can't just send them to, an ortho, to some some place and then have them treated for a year and off work and everything. It ruins careers. Not, I mean, not only could be off work, they might find someone that could do the same job and hire him and he doesn't have a job again. Well, you're not, you're not going you're not gonna to keep your job. If no. you're out of work for a year, guarantee in Florida, oh. you're done. Yeah. You're done. And it's only eight hundred two dollars so a month. So those uh, the people that are injured, you don't need approval now. I think the law changed so that you can go wherever you want to go. They have to pay. Yes. And uh, so you don't have to be steered somewhere uh, to satisfy that uh, that gal who's in charge like that. Uh, you don't have to go through them. Well, now. I mean, well, we, fight with them. I mean, it's your career. If you want to be off uh, getting 800 bucks a month. I don't I mean, think anyone could survive on it. Well, we can't survive on that. Well, all no. week we've been, on Two Boys, we've been talking about Dr. Pinozo. Yeah. And talking to the business owner. If you can, if you're listening to us and you own a business and you pay to have your employees covered. Right. It would behoove you to send them to Dr. Pinozo. Oh, yeah. do his thing. And the amount of money you're going to save as a business because Obamacare is changing. Again. Well, Obamacare isn't going to be around. Uh, but uh, talking about Obamacare, we got to we got to uh, elect Trump. Get out and because, vote, folks. Now here we go with what? that now. Get out and vote. Yes, uh, because the system is rigged. Obamacare. If Clinton gets in, here's an article from the Wall Street Journal. Okay. Right there. Uh, you can see it. You can see it. All right. And the sum and content of this article, uh, this whole thing, this was written by Phil Graham, who used to be a senator who is an economist. Yeah. So he knows what he's talking about. He said in this article that uh, Hillary Care, you remember that? 20 years ago. The reason it failed was there was no freedom in it. She had this whole thing locked up where they had a committee telling everybody what to do. Like now. Like now. And, uh, <laughs> and uh, you can't be a doctor. You, you can only be a secretary. Oh, what do you want me to do? Oh, okay. And uh, then you get criticized if you don't discharge these people. If you treat them, uh, and that's what, this, what, that's what the Obamacare is gonna, uh, aimed at, mm-hmm. uh, to be the only one that could uh, treat you. And you can't exist that and you can't way. go to your doctors. You have the best care in the world. Don't give it up by electing this woman. She's a mean uh, nasty. She's yeah, nasty. but I, I, I got some bad news for you guys. She's going to win. This is no way. Now, the other part of that equation is the House and the Senate. How much of that are the, uh, are the Democrats going to win? That's what the real race is right now. But what you're looking at right now with Obamacare, which is a disaster for many, many people, Everybody. is going to continue. And this just enhances what I'm trying to say. If you own a business, 
services are going to be coming down prices are going to be coming up come and see dr Pinozo as a business owner you'll be you'll be uh, making an intelligent move because you save companies money he saves everybody what happens is you know because you're too cheap <laughs> yeah you, you know you know they'll say someone will go for this thing that doesn't work it's not covered by insurance and, and they put this little sponge in your knee and they charge thirty thousand dollars shall we say inexpensive no inexpensive <laughs> well you know I, I applaud you for that i applaud you for being uh, reasonable you know not charging exorbitant fees just because you can cure something i mean being reasonable well means you have a lot. to be you have to be able to treat people and uh, you know a lot of them uh, uh, i mean to get rid of a back pain forever for 450 bucks is what we charge People think that's a lot of money. That is not a lot of money. Major League Baseball pays millions for yeah. these players <laughs> right. to have surgery done. <laughs> and they're never and, the same. And, and they're never the same. No. So, uh, What gets me... And they uh, keep doing it, Les, yeah. over and over. I, and I don't understand. Uh, did you, uh, do you watch a lot of college ball? Because I yeah. watch you. Okay. A guy, one of the key guys is out for groin injury. And it's this running guy. And it's amazing. I had a groin injury to almost two years ago with two shots. And never came back, and I could. I did everything I did before, and I don't understand that. Why, why would you give? Why would you? You're ruining a guy's career. You're literally taking a guy who's who's playing college ball, who wants to get into the. I guess most of those guys want to get into the NFL, correct? Correct. I mean, you've been a coach in your whole life. That's the dream. So, so why why give a guy a surgery or keep him out? Of playing with a groin injury when I could, I will swear on a stack of Bibles, take a lie detector test, and tell you that I had a groin injury. It was cured with two shots one day two years ago. Football is a ten I'm, billion would yeah, it be it's dollar a big business it's a, it's per a year. World, it's a world phenomena of so, what they so, make. So all the doctors that are involved and, and pay a crap load of money to be the doctors that's there. Right. And that's the name of that game. They have a protection of themselves. They right. have to. And uh, the owners of these teams. Is that communism? They just give in. No. No, it's capitalism. It's capitalism. capitalism. <laughs> I had the wrong C. There's a lot of C's I get mixed up with. <laughs> they, they, but, you know, and, and again, and I mean, staying away from the NFL and all that. If you own a business, if you can hear this show and you own a business, coming next year, you're going to pay more. Yeah. So why not have your employees looked at? I'd like fix. to uh, develop a company who takes care of these, these companies and evaluates the uh, employees before they're hired. That's a great That's idea. That's where the key is. Oh. You don't hire someone who's going to sue you and uh, say they were hurt there. It's a good idea. And, uh, I have experience with that. I had 500 employees. Of I know. Time. So anything I talk about, I already had ex experience with that. And well, you, you, owned, you, owned, you owned your own facility and you had people there. Yeah, and, and uh, no injuries for three years. And I got money back from uh, the uh, insurer because uh, I was paying too much uh, to cover those employees, but we didn't use anything in three years, so they, it came back. So, folks, understand something. If you have a business, I mean, let's look at it logically. If mm -hmm. every time someone gets hurt and you send them to a doctor, your insurance premiums go up. That's why, right. why, why do that when there's someone in South Florida who you're lucky enough and someone in Arizona, his son, that could actually prevent the injuries, keep your employees happy, and you make more money? I can't understand why anyone in their right mind. Because it's uh, too easy. Uh, He's, uh, it's too just, simple of a form. You know, maybe you're right. It's too simple what he does. Well, it only that, took him 53 that, years to perfect it, but I mean, it's well, simple. That's what, yeah. that's what you look for. You look for simplification of complex issues. That's, that's what a genius is. I mean, uh, if you take about uh, the geniuses out there like um, Einstein, Westmere. what did he do? Westmere. He simplified everything to an equation. See, that's what you want. You want uh, the, the people who are not on the inside to, mm -hmm. be, uh, to have an explanation that's simplified so you can understand it. And then you know you're not you're not being uh, used or screwed. On one of your shows on 19, you actually showed the guy <laughs> right. on the, on the uh, C-arm. He said, see, and it, it was a fairly big scar tissue about, uh, I'd say, almost the size of half of a golf ball. Yeah. And, he say, and he said to him, see that? I'm going to do the shot in there. And he said, a shot? He said, just calm down. <laughs> and I'm going to get rid of that, and, and I'm going to show it to you. And it wasn't there anymore. And it's not trick photography, folks. We're, we're not here to get sued. You mm -hmm. can see for yourself. And if you could walk afterwards, it had to work, right? This guy came in like he was hit by a truck I was watching the show and I'm seeing the, and he gives him that shot there and he goes Ooh, one second 
And then he's trying to walk in there and say, oh, gosh, Doc. Was that on, uh, he, we filmed that, right? yeah. yeah, and there was an. That was, was real. I mean, well, the other guy, uh, I guess it was filmed, but we didn't get to that one yet, who came in and he was limping and he was bent. Oh, the guy that wrote that thing, uh, Wimp and Weep Out. <laughs> and he, that was Tuesday, and he came in and he said, wow, I got to keep you at home with me. He said, that's, that's, I don't know what you do. But this is a guy with a lot of pain, so I, I, I want people to know if you're like on a lot of things, you know, he can't give you one shot. If your back hurts, your neck hurts, and your foot, it takes time. And, t- and t- sometimes I just want people to understand you've got to chase the pain. Right. Well, you need a diagnosis, yeah. and um, there, there are multiple sources of a pain. So you could take the worst one first, the second one mm-hmm. uh, next time, and the third one after that. So it's progressive improvement, but it doesn't go bad again. You don't go bad again. You'll never have that pain again. Once yeah. it's gone, it's gone. You know, last Friday I was having lunch at Poppy's, and it was it was empty. The place had just finished the the lunch deal. You know why? It was the Jewish holidays. Yes, had but, to be home by but then. your commercial came on with <laughs> where uh, what's his name, the hockey player. Oh, Chivers. She was just talking about it. So I started yelling, "Hey, there goes the Dr. Pinoza <laughs> commercial!" So the the waitresses. Yeah, you and embarrass the waiters, me when you see those commercials, and I'm with you. He's done that more than once. So the waiters and the waitresses come over, and they go, "You did that? Yeah, that's my doctor, Dr. Pinoza." Meanwhile, they're limping over, doc. <laughs> <laughs> they're coming over, limping. I said, "What is wrong with you people?" Well, we've been on our feet all week. It's been a long week. I said, "You got to go see this guy. He'll take care of all that pain." But it was funny to see a room full of pain. Why? I mean, why? Why are people doing this, life? Why? Freddie, they had a waitress there that was in such pain, wouldn't listen to him. Everyone's telling her to go see Dr. Pinozo. Not only is she fired, but she's addicted to drugs. Oh, that's why she won't see him. And she couldn't see him because she <laughs> went to the she went to the chiropractor and did all this other Ooh. stuff. Remember? Oh, I got a chiropractor story. Okay, we'll take it. Friday morning, I'm having my coffee. And I'm looking at Channel 12 on the news. Chiropractor kills a young 24-year-old in California. Oh, my God. Did you hear about this? No, no, no. He did a procedure. Somehow her artery got snipped, and she bled to death. How, how did that happen? I have no idea. How could, you, how could you? And he's saying that's impossible, but this is not the first time that this particular procedure around the neck area caused bleeding. Mm-hmm. And it was there, and I, I, was, I meant to get back to do this, but I had to leave but it's really strange because you have to be careful when they snap you in half. I I, I have never and well, will the never. snapping is an injury. Yeah. So every time you hear that or feel it, oh, that cracking. you're injuring a ligament in there. That's why we don't do that. Uh, you could have a mild stretch, but never cracking, uh, which is a very hard uh, motion. And uh, when you hear that or feel it, you have actually had an injury to a ligament. I wish they'd stop doing that. There's better ways to do it. There was a, there was a show on, on HBO that explained that explained one of the biggest myths in in medical, and they said we came and call it medical, is chiropractic. And they said anyone that takes care of a child that's under 18 should go to jail. Chiro- to as, use a I didn't say that. If you know, oh, like, they're they're manipulating one year olds. Yeah, they I said mean, that. You can't believe this. You know, Doc, we got a lot of questions. Okay, go ahead. And I, 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 I one eight. You- 1-800-889-0267. You want to talk to Dr. Pinozo less? Give us a call. Okay. Uh, Sarah from Boston. Boston, I love you Boston people. Writes, are the people who are on your show in your exam room actors? <laughs> no. Or is the pain they are walking real? Yes. I ask because some of the people you work with uh, seem surprised when you tell them the pain isn't there and the referred pain is coming from someplace else. I have a similar problem with my ankle and foot. I saw you explain one leg shorter than the other and drag creates a pain all the way down to the foot. My question to you, Dr. Pedroza, is why you work on the foot or leg? Is this pain still in place when you leave the office? Uh, no, uh, you, you don't leave the office with the, uh, with the pain you walked in with. That's right. And that procedure that, that she or he is writing about uh, is something that Pinozo does treat. Yeah. I mean, he has different ways of doing that. you got to yeah, come on uh, down. She needs a diagnosis. Yeah. Well, the, the best thing to do is to do a diagnosis because one of the ladies that has been uh, endorsing Dr. Pinozo for the last three years came in with an ankle injury. Well, Leah, the same, uh, same problem. Yeah, same yeah. problem, actually. Yeah, and it was not the ankle. Yeah. It was a referred pain in the back. Okay, so, yes. 
come down and see him. You can call him anytime. He answers the phone, 561-381-5800. And anyone who's as old as I am remembers the, the doctors that really cared. This is one of them. Uh, Sal from New York City writes, First time I saw your show, and now I phone you on your website. I was planning on having neck surgery because I have a stiff neck, not allowing me to turn side to side. I wanted to ask before I commit to surgery if your procedures can help me. I'm 68 years young and wonder if surgery is the only thing that would help me. My son actually introduced me to your show and suggested I asked you before setting up a surgery. So Sal is listening in, Doc. Well, he's uh, stiff now, and the surgery is going to make him stiffer mm -hmm. because they put a fusion in there. In other words, they eliminate motion. Right. In their twisted thinking. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> in, their, in their thinking, uh, they say, well, if it hurts to move it, let's fuse it so you don't hurt. Mm -hmm. But I'm saying get the motion back, and it won't hurt. So my philosophy is is better than that. So we want to mobilize, right. not restrict. Okay, all the time. We always mobilize motion. Never yeah. restrict it. So this person is, uh, depending on how much trouble they have, they can, be, uh, they can be fixed completely in one, two, or three days of treatment. And I always say to people, you know, before you commit to something like surgery, I think it would behoove you to at least meet the man, get a diagnosis. And let me tell you, if he thinks you need surgery, he'll tell you. Right. If he cannot do what you want him to do, he'll tell you. I've seen it. But wouldn't it behoove you to fly down to see one of the only doctors in the world that does what he does and yeah. save? Sometimes you have to go where they are. You yeah. Know? I mean, if somebody's really good at what they do, you have to go there. They're and, not coming to you. you know, if you have a cold, <laughs> he's not going to fix your cold. But if you, if you have pain, he's a musculoskeletal physician. Who graduated from Ohio State University? He's an MD. Yay, Ohio State. Not a not a not a NRD. <laughs> no, an NRD is not a, not a real doctor. Okay. <laughs> Chiropractor and uh, okay. Uh, Sal from New York City writes: I'm planning to go down with my family to enjoy the weather and play some golf in South Florida. My first stop is to see you because I have migraines that just make it impossible to walk less and play golf less. I know you say it takes just one visit, but I've had migraines for many years and want to know how long it took for the procedure to cure the pain and how long does it last? It's a, it's a half hour procedure, and uh, not a procedure. It takes half hour to evaluate it. Right. You know, get a history, uh, get a film, and you know, and then do, do the thing. It's about uh, 25, 30 minutes. And again, uh, from, which I from, can, yeah, I don't even need you and, here. And it doesn't come back. I, I could do these questions and know the answer because I've seen it. Yeah. How mm -hmm. would you like to? How would you like, folks, uh, the people that have heard this before? I'm sorry, but we keep getting new <laughs> listeners. How would you like to bring in a younger woman who has suffered from migraines all her life and suffered from vertigo and who's in her car most of the day because she works for a living, and as she's walking in, somebody who is maybe twice her age, had done the same thing she has done, gone to the same yeah. doctors and clinics, yeah. done the Botox, done the, the pills. That's true. And yeah. both these women were cured. Yep. Now, how long has it been? They oh, were cured that day while they were standing yeah. there talking. Yep. Yeah. And the elderly, the elderly lady said she had had this for uh, quite a few years. Oh, yeah. And then I said, what are you in here for now? She said, well, I have something with my shoulder, which I want to take care of. But the migraines are gone. Yeah. I mean, I had a wife that, well, I still have my wife, but had terrible, terrible, terrible migraines that she'd have to go into the bathroom and sit by the, the porcelain sink. So I know what migraines are like. So, you know, folks. Well, those are all really relievable. I mean, well, just because they're, they're that bad or you have to be in a quiet room and all that, no. uh, that's all, you know, has Monk. nothing to do with it. We know where it's from. We treat it directly, and you get the result. And in, 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 uh, in Tuesday's Wall Street Journal, did you see the thing? Because I was reading while we were taking care of a patient about concussions and finding new things with concussions. Yes, that was the other thing I was... Uh, oh, go talk about that. Well, you know, the whole article uh, uh, in the Wall Street Journal... Yeah, I was reading it while I was, was waiting. ...was concussion, but they never said what it is. All of that. And all these experts, they, uh, they were quoting this guy and that guy here in this country, other countries, and none of them knew what they were talking about. Believe me, they don't. I know what it is. We treat it every day. And in fact, we had a high school student who okay. had that. Really? A concussion. And we have that on tape, I hope. 
Uh, I, I, I suppose we do. Okay. So I, I put my finger in it, and I said, does it hurt right here? He said, yes. I said, you want a shot at it? Because I could take that pain right out. He said, absolutely do it. And we did it, and that pain was gone. Yeah, I was watching. Concussions my, uh, don't happen. It's all neck injuries. Well, they, my the neurosurgeon that I went to said this this part of the head is so hard yes. that that. Do you ever watch these shows where they go, it's the guy with the head? Yeah. It's, it's almost instri- indestructible. And when you get hit by a sledgehammer from 2,000 feet. Yeah. You can't get hurt playing football or anything. These are all neck injuries. I mean, uh, you know, eventually they're going to be talking like this. Mm-hmm. Because <laughs> well, I, I am a, right. I got a question. I am absolutely right. I know the anatomy. Believe me. Yeah, I know, I know you do. I, I know a lot about it. And we know how to treat it. We developed all that. If you're having a concussion... Come and see me. We'll take that right out. Well, I got a question for you. You know, not concussion, a neck injury. neck injury. Do you know? It's called a concussion. They have concussion protocol now. Yeah, yeah. And it's in every every yeah, level know, of the game. That's every what level, even soccer. About. Yeah, they pull them right out. Of, they pull them right out of the game. But you yeah. can't get back in until somebody Quit says you. you're cleared, right? Yeah. Okay. So let's say that they come and see you because there's a lot of dizziness and all this stuff that goes with the concussion, allegedly. It happens, but it's happening because of a different area of the body. So you clear it up, right? Yes. And they go through protocol, and they clear the next day. See, the thing. protocol is baloney. You know why? One simple fact. There is no test for ringing or a vertigo or a concussion. There is no test for it. They're trying to say there's brain injury. That's baloney. There's no brain injury. Not, not in an 18-year-old. And... Uh, uh, so they're diagnosing these things. They're putting these kids off for six weeks, eight yeah. weeks. And, uh, you know, you can't do that to an athlete. You have to treat them right now and get them right back on the field. But the, th- they're going to pass protocol, right? One of the questions they say, what's today's date? I don't even know what today's date is. What's no, today's date? It's like a fighter. You know, he gets hit in the head, he falls down, they go, where are you? Uh, on the floor. I'm in the, uh, 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 what building? I'm I don't the, know. I'm in there's, the gym. There is no <laughs> test for concussion. I wish no. they stopped this. You know, they got to get more scientific in their their uh, writing and their thought. Here's what They're you don't. Here's what all. people and doctors don't understand. I'm gonna tell you. Go ahead. Okay. <laughs> you specialized <laughs> yes. in musculoskeletal. Yes. You know more about musculoskeletal right. than any orthopedic surgeon in right. the world, and I defy them. To tell me, yeah. The other thing is, autism is is a neck injury. Yeah, you. you and these kids are that. suffering. I mean, I can't believe this stuff goes on. I mean, it's just terrible. You know, Freddie, I'm going to give a call to uh, to the owner of the Unicorn Foundation. Listen, I'm not going to get involved with that over the air because people yell at me. I'm not going to say nothing. And, and you know what? I seen some of the magic that Dr. Pinoso does. I try to see explain. It every day. I try to explain it, and people still laugh at me. I mean, and now that you're doing the Channel 19, because they think think that I'm making it up. They think I'm trying to sell them. They think that I'm sitting here because I'm selling them. You know, I'm not selling no more, Doc. Channel 19 answers Well, if you do, you're not making anything. But Channel 19 (laughs) answers all the questions. It's there. It's right in front of you. All the cures of what's going on. Yeah, as a matter of fact, the first one showed a lady... A really an educated woman. She was sitting there. Remember her? Yes, I, 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 and, and she had this headache. And so I sat with her uh, while the uh, while the a- after the treatment. And she was talking. And then all of a sudden she said, "My headache's gone." <laughs> I mean, you know, this is real stuff. And if someone had a headache all the time, it wasn't just once in a while. I mean, I've seen. I would say up to right now, people that I've brought in, people I've seen. I'd say maybe 20 people that I have actually seen with migraine headaches that never came back again you know what these people are listening to us uh they're thinking well how come my doctor doesn't know this that's right he didn't specialize in musculoskeletal you have to understand that not everybody has the same knowledge right a surgeon is not going to come up with this no so if you're going to an orthopedic surgeon as good as they are and they are good they are good yeah they're not going to come up with this because it's out of their uh it's not what they do it's out of their the what, what's the term for it? Bailiwick. I mean, it's it's not in yeah, there. Yeah, that's not bailiwick. That's a good idea. Yeah. yeah, it's not oh. it's not in their system of knowledge. Mm-hmm. There's a lady. Do you remember you and I doing a show at the Beasley Network in Boca about three and a half years ago? Oh yeah, yeah. with Tanya. Yes. Yeah, remember we did it on SBR. There's a lady in that building who suffers from migraine, and I asked her to come upstairs. She never came up, right? Right. Three right. and a half years later, 
moving the story forward. Is this the one I know? I, I don't know if you know her, but I saw her again on Wednesday. And she was crying. I said, what's wrong? This migraine. It's been three and a half years. I said, you know when to see Dr. Pinozo? No, no, I didn't do that. Three and a half years. How to ask a boss who could walk up and down stairs, right up and down the stairs, you would tell me after you saw him. But this lady, for three and a half years, she's still suffering with migraines. I said, then what do you got to lose? Yeah, a tear? That's a good point. There is no downside. No, there's nothing to lose. There's no downside at all. You can't get hurt. You no know drugs. You don't have to worry about being allergic to anything. It's not going to happen. What we do is pure treatment because we know science where the, we know where the source is and you got to know that or you can't treat it that's why chiropractors can't work they don't know where the source is they can't work anyway because it's not that a thing something that they could do, uh, treat or, fit, or pts how could you can't, they can't either that. no they they don't no. have a, they don't have a clue they don't have a clue and please do me a favor do not bring your mris and do not look for drugs dr Pinozo does not Give out drugs if you're nope. calling for no, medication. No, no, no drugs. It defeats my purpose, so we don't do that. That's right. I mean, he's well, actually... Drug works on the mind, not on the source well, of the pain. <laughs> well, he's actually working on rehab. Tell you what, you are sharp today. You don't think I listen to you? <laughs> you don't think I study what I'm saying? Yeah, right. He's actually working with rehabilitation centers where they're trying to take them off drugs to relieve whatever pain they're in. So... Um, he so, would be great uh, people, in, the VA, in the VA hospital. I mean, well, he'd the be VA great. hospital, he, he, uh, he, those guys would be walking around off of drugs and pain-free. I mean, that's that would be... Yeah, well, you re- can't get a referral from re- them. Rehab you know, across the board. Dr. Pinozo can help anybody. And rehab is in pain. Was hooked on opiates and, and whatever. You know, whatever you're taking. Heroin use in Delray Beach, number one in the country. Out of control. Completely and, out of control. And, and New England and uh, uh, Maine uh, are number two right now. In, in, in problems with opioids, and most of them are over-the-counter drugs that their parents have. That's it, right. It must be cheap. Well, you know what? They give it away. They yeah. give away the heroin, Doc, to get people hooked, yeah. you know? And then once you're hooked, then they tell you it costs you X amount of dollars. The first one is always free. Always. <laughs> they give right? you a few frees. Well, listen, if you have a pain, come and see me. We can work out something so you could uh, get it taken But again, of. no medication. No medication, none, no physical so therapy. Please do not call no hospital for. stay. Please do not call. Looking for it, I've, I saw four phone calls on Friday, and the man, after a while, says, you know, I don't do that, and we're telling you right now, he does not do the medication stuff. No. He doesn't need to. So. Because medication is, is, a mind, is a mind thing. It doesn't, it doesn't do anything. You well, like those it. who uh, prescribe medication don't know where the source of that pain exactly is, right. so they're using drugs to try to treat it, and they don't know what they're treating. So, you know, you don't want to do that. It's just not doesn't make good sense. It's, let me, not, let me, it's not smart. I'm trying to make a patient smart. This is what the program's all about. I want you to be smart. When you hear things, evaluate them properly. When you go get treatment, make sure you're benefiting from that in one or two treatments. Otherwise, leave that. Uh, you got to be smart about your own health. You only have two things to, to control in your whole life. Did money you know and that? your health. Your money and your health. That's it. <laughs> I got you know, money. I don't have health. <laughs> you got no health? I wish, I, I wish you could cure some of my diseases that yeah, I have inside. I'd go to him. I'd be living in his office. Let me ask you one thing. Yeah, we, uh, then we're off of migraines. Yeah. In the ER, there was a patient. I do a lot of research. Who they brought in and they couldn't find out what was wrong with him. He, he, he had a major seizure. Mm-hmm. You know the part where that uh, stuff is coming yeah. out of your mouth? Yeah. And, his, and <laughs> asked his wife. He said, it doesn't take any drugs. The only things he takes is a medication for his migraine and the doctor gave him an extra he said when did he take it he said he took it uh, the night before they had to do some it was the medication for extra medication for the migraine and he he was he almost died if his wife was wasn't there, he would have died. You know, that really know, grieves I me because me he's probably getting that from a neurologist. they got to stop that. Aspirin is the best drug for migraine. Did you know that? Yes. Any I have aspirin. migraines. Aspirin is your best drug. Best drug. Don't buy expensive stuff. You know what? They're, they're injecting that. I think it was last time I, somebody told me about it. It was 120 bucks per shot. Oh, yeah. For migraine. And there's no such thing. 
How about there is 50, no such thing How about $1,500 of, of four times a year for Botox? Oh, it's, it's terrible, terrible, terrible. The only thing is, the guy, this one friend... And it costs you nothing. A dollar uh, will give you a bunch of aspirin. You can't even use them. There's yeah. so many of them. Yeah, I mean, aspirin's your best drug. Okay, let's get some more questions. So I don't want the people in Boston to be mad at me or New York. Jenny from Boston writes, Doc, my grandmother, who is 75, has pain in the knees, and it stiffens up to the point that she cannot walk. Her doctor has given her anti-inflammatories and heat to keep her loose. But the pain continues. I watch your show on Boston Cable and want to know if the same application for knees that you spoke about would it bother her because of her age. Uh, no, no. that's uh, There is no downside to anything we do. The guy that came in, she must have been 80-something, and, and he walked usually, in. Usually, uh, a person like this will usually have patella pain. Because when you sit a lot... Mm-hmm. Uh, and you get up and you start walking or climbing, right. uh, the pain occurs under the kneecap. Oh, okay. And that's treatable. That's not even the knee. That's the problem, folks. If you, uh, he, This is a so, man that could find where the source yeah, of pain is. You need a diagnosis, it. right? Yep. And it could also be the hip uh, involved with that. Now, we treat a lot of, <laughs> a lot of knees, and... Some of them have hip components. We do that first, then the knee gets better. Well, a lady in my gym was having problems with, uh, and he he found where the pain was. It wasn't in it wasn't in her foot. It wasn't in the knee. It wasn't anywhere. It was in her back. Yeah. That's you. That's that's the one. The runner. Yep. Uh, so uh, if runner. you don't believe half of what I'm saying, just go to the uh, that uh, show on uh, Channel 19, Uverse, mm-hmm. and watch it. You can actually see it. Yeah. Yep, that's and it's on your website, Penoso.tv, Wednesday six, Friday six o'clock. Check so, it out. people, just uh, just so you know, folks, if you don't have Uverse, you could actually go to that website and watch and it. See Doesn't it. matter where you are or who you are, you can always yeah, see the Penoso. show. Yeah, TV, that's on there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The three screens are on there. Yeah, all yeah. your shows from everywhere. Are can on I get there. that on my phone? Yeah. Okay. That you can see. That I could say, okay, because I haven't been able to see it. On your phone, there's something, they have a problem at that they station. They use flash, the phone. so yeah, you can't, they use see, something different. You can't yes. see it directly. Yeah. Oh, and big news, within the next couple of weeks, it won't say, it'll have the Dr. Pinozo Health and Medicine Hour. Ah. That comes out of Dallas. Okay. What Paul, does? What uh, the name of the show. The name of the show, the screening. They have to make, they have to, they have to, I'll, let me, I'll tell you afterwards. Oh, What's okay. the show? Remind me. Paul from Boston writes, watched and loved you so, so much, I downloaded your app. Hey, to make sure I don't miss any of your shows. That's great. That's Paul, I love guy. you. My father's in, uh, in Boca, went to see you for a bad shoulder, and you helped him so much, he did not have to go for surgery. The doctors want him to have, and he's better than ever after seeing you. My question is, how long does the procedure last, and does fixing one area of the body damage any other areas of the body? No. I only ask this because there seems to be other parts of his arm that hurt, and I don't think he has anything to do with the shoulder, or does it? Well, it's probably, if, if the arm is bothering him, it's, it could be elbow or neck. Right. So we'd have to diagnose that. Okay. I mean, uh, we got a lot of people that come in with uh, tingling of the fingers. Yeah, what is that from? It's from the neck. I never knew that. Yeah. So, uh, and usually it's uh, two shots and it's gone. doesn't come back. But what I like is... say somebody's going to say, well, that is impossible. It is not. We do it every day. If you watch this uh, reality show, you'll see it. Well, here's, here's someone from Boston whose father went to see it. The father's as yeah. happy as, right. as a lark, so evidently it works. Uh, we're getting a lot of Boston today, Doc. Uh, Alex from Boston writes, I've had surgery to repair... Uh, torn tendon in my shoulder and the pain after surgery is horrible they sent me to a pt to see if this would help and it didn't i was told there is arthritis there's no such thing as arthritis in the area and that's why it hurts bad you didn't think i knew that <laughs> but was it sure the shoulder was stable i still want to lift and how the pressure around is so bad i can't lift weights can you tell me if you can help me and how long will this last yeah, we can, but you got to do it quick because yeah. uh, scar tissue is relentless, and what it's supposed to do is tighten down. So we have to fight that. We have to mobilize it. Mm-hmm. Remember that? Mobilize it. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, that's treatable, So, but you gotta, you got to come in. I mean, uh, it's not going to get well by itself. I've got five people in my gym that stopped using that big weight belt around their waist. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it doesn't. Uh, and I said to them, I said, you know, I don't lift the kind of weight you guys do, but thank God, knock wood, I have never had a back injury because number for two reasons. One, I only do eight sets, 
And number two, I only lift the weight that's comfortable. And number three, think about this. I'm, t- I'm, like, a, I'm like the doctor there. When you put a, a band around your waist, right, those big heavy things, doesn't give you, it doesn't, it weakens that part of the body. No, well, how does it do that? Because it's holding everything in. It's not giving the body a chance to move. It squeezes the muscles. Squeezes the muscles. Which is wrong. You don't squeeze a muscle that's trying to contract. It gets bigger when it contracts. So you don't want that. So they're all listening so, to me. So the more <laughs> the more you use the belt like that, the flatter your back gets. It's like the boot. What's the first thing the like podiatrist the said? Yeah, yeah. They told Leah, put the boot on. And it wasn't from the ankle. And then we'll do the surgery. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Yeah, so, and it uh, has a funny problem. It's still going to hurt her after surgery because well, it was a referred pain. What we ought to do is get a group together, and I'll come in and explain all this to them. It's your gym. Oh, that's easy. If you want to, uh, uh, Freddie will pick you up and take you down there. Mm-hmm. Right, where, Freddie? Where are we going? Uh, downtown, the gym. 1440? Yeah. Yeah, I got no problem. With that. New owners, but the main guy is still is suggesting still he, he wants to do it. Yeah, I want to I want to bring him down there. I have a personal trainer who uh, is a patient of mine, and, and she's also very oh, I, yeah, I met that very lady. smart yeah. about uh, musculoskeletal business. And her, in her gym, they hired a PT and a chiropractor. That's and true. And they're encouraging everybody to refer to them. I, I think that's wrong. So when the pain begins to come, when the pain begins to fly... Yeah, they're going to the lowest common denominator, and they're yeah. insisting you go to see these people. What is wrong with this thinking? You know, it's just because they don't know where the pain is coming from. Well, they don't know what I, to do. That's with what you I'm not. trying to say. They, they don't know they, what to do. They with don't it. know what to do. And they can't fix the tissue, the scar yeah, tissue, because yeah. only somebody who's not. Okay. I get very frustrated. They can't even get to it. You know, it's just. Uh, I had the guy that uh, who's on vacation now, my old buddy, who it took me. Oh, took me three weeks to convince him to see you. And he said, in that nice accent, Les, buddy, you did me a good thing, my friend. I could go skiing now and do everything. My golf game still sucks when we cycle play. <laughs> and he's a great guy. That's an educated man. Yeah. Okay, Linda from New York City writes, I saw your show for the first time a couple of weeks ago and heard that soccer accidents have become the fastest growing injury on the East Coast of America. My son had an injury this week while playing soccer, and he's 14 years old. The doctor seems to think he has head injury, and they called it a concussion. And now he's not allowed to play till the doctors agree that he's fit to go. That's just what Freddie said. Is the injury in the head, or, the, or is it in his neck? When I spoke to the doctors, they clearly believe it's the head area that made me get so concerned. Perhaps they were right. Please, Dr. Pinoza, give me some guidance. It's uh, not in the head. Right. How would you get? You can't hurt the brain. There's no, no way. That's the only thing that's in the head. And I was told this by a and neurologist. You, and you can't hurt it. Neurologist does not know musculoskeletal medicine. That's right. He They're knows. They're not trained yeah. that way. They're trained in nerve diseases, and I don't know anything about right. nerve diseases. You never said you they did. They know all that. I don't. But I do know where a pain comes from. I got one right here. So. Uh, <laughs> Could you get rid of that with a shot? So uh, <laughs> she should bring that kid in. Yeah. He's 14. Why ruin his future? You know, I, do it. here's what I tell it's all the people. It's not worth it. Just no. bring them in. This, uh, we'll take From care of From Boston it. and New York and all the other places that you were at. Mm-hmm. You could come down to one of the most beautiful places probably in the country, known as a number one vacation spot. And where Dr. Pinoza's office is, it's, I, it's like 10 minutes away from one of the most beautiful beaches. Right. Come down. I'll get you a hotel room. I'll tell you what it is. Not you. Tell you some of the great restaurants. And I got news for you. I will be putting your will after that. <laughs> Listen, I got a question. We got two minutes left. Oh, really? Guy has a concussion, like uh, the football player. And he goes through the whole protocol, yada, yada, yada. And comes back, gets another concussion. The whole thing happens again. And gets a third concussion. No team will sign him. That injury is reoccurring, Doc? Or is it different parts of the area? Well, they never treated it. Never treated him. Uh, and it just got worse. Yeah, never got they just, the first part. They just yeah. sit him down and they but, give uh, him But if he wants his career, he should come and see me. We'll fix it for him, and then he can play. So it's going to reoccur and reoccur and reoccur? Yeah. Interesting. Now, I've I've heard from some major league NFL players, uh, Jonathan was one of them, that they are, players are allowed to come and see you because the steroid you give is approved by the NFL the steroid you give is out of their system in uh, eight hours, ten hours, uh, nine, nine hours. And guess what? You could play again. Yeah. 
and not worry. You could be in practice and play again. Yeah, there's, uh, you don't lose any cogn cogn Nothing. cognitive ability. I mean, you're not numb or anything like that. Yeah. You're not dizzy. I mean, you we got to get a two-hour well. show, Doctor. The show goes too fast. If you want to see Dr. Pinozo, you could call him at 561-381-5800. And you know what? I behoove anyone that has seen Dr. Pinozo and has not been cured to please call up the show. Yeah. We'd love to hear that. Yep. And for those of you who, who are skeptical, it could probably be the best 20 minutes that you've had in your life. Doc, always a pleasure. Freddie, always a pleasure. Nutter, who cares about you? Uh, you can always call the doctor at 561 See you. 381 5800. And, Doc, <laughs> thank you for what you've done in this community. It, 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 it's really amazing. Oh. Thank you. <laughs> God bless our troops and God bless this country. <laughs> this has been the Dr. Pinozo Sports and Medicine Hour with Dr. Anthony Pinozo. If you spend five minutes with Dr. Pinozo, you'll see he genuinely enjoys helping others. Visit Dr. Pinozo online at www.paincentersnationwide.com. Or call him at 561-381-5800. Dr. Pinozo will consult with you to determine the best solution to your pain needs. 561-381-5800 is the number to call, even if it's just for a second opinion. Join Dr. Pinozo next week when he brings you more important information on the physics of weight-bearing and engineer concepts for the body. WBZT West Palm Beach.